Hello everyone and welcome to this uh, Let's Play of The Feeble Files, a point and click adventure game released by AdventureSoft in 1997. Uh, AdventureSoft are probably better known for their Simon the Sorcerer series of adventure games, um, which feature the voice of Chris Barry, remember from Red Dwarf. This game uh, features the voice of Robert Llewellyn, Crichton from Red Dwarf, uh, as Feeble himself. I've got the um, the original big box uh, four CD version of the game here, which I'll be playing. Um, and uh, on the back cover has a rather attractive uh, portrait of Robert Llewellyn, uh, half morphed into Feeble, as you see him on the screen. It's um, it's a sight to behold. Uh, I would like to read you the the back of the box before we begin to to set up some expectations. Um, the Feeble Files. You are feeble, or rather, you're a downtrodden Grinellian who just happens to be called feeble. Super VGA, silicon graphics, rendered animation, 16-bit stereo sound, and a plot of epic proportions take this adventure into a different galaxy. An audio-visual treat, an intellectual challenge, and awesome to play, witty and humorous, but with dark undertones, the feeble files contains acts of betrayal intrigue, revolution, and even a bit of cross-dressing. Not to mention some totally unique features like Oracle, an ever-increasing encyclopedia of helpful background information. Add to that around 80 locations to visit, 6,000 voice lines to interact with, there should be plenty to keep everyone happy without the aid of organic chemical supplements. Rebellion has never looked so pathetic. Adventure soft. That's very exciting. It's um, not recommended for anyone under the age of 11. Please note, and it's proudly designed for Microsoft Windows 95, which uh, is not the operating system I'm currently using. Uh, I'd also like to mention uh, an interesting entry uh, in the game's Wikipedia page. Under Reception, the only entry is, uh, in 2011, AdventureGamers.com named the Feeble Files the 91st best adventure game ever released. Just to provide some context there. Despite having had uh, a copy of the game for quite a long time, I, I've never played it before. Um, so this is all going to be new to me, um, and and quite probably you too, <laughs> if, uh, if the game is as popular as I think it is. So without ado, further ado, let's begin. Start new game, and I've got a nice round of cutscenes to sit through, I, I understand, from having tested the game earlier. I'll, I'll be quiet and we can enjoy these together. I would say I really like the style of this um, this sort of two mostly two D opening sequence. Um, very nice uh, colour palette and animation. Oh, where there is animation. What's going on out there, Jad? I reckon there must be city folk coming round here again. Uh, this time of night. They've knocked over our scarecrow. Oh, I ate some coming over here in their fancy motor cars. Why don't you shoot them or summit? I can't see them. That must be hiding out there. Get off our land. Hang on a minute, woman. I can see something out there. Where? In the corn. They've been trampling our corn. It could be a horror game, it could be. We're now going to sit through a lengthy uh, mandatory credit sequence. Um, yeah, so that first, that first, um, I really like the, art, the animation and um, art style, that first little bit, it's not going to be representative of what we see from now going on, it's not going to be lumpy um, 3D graphics, unfortunately. But yeah, that really reminded me of um, Yuri Norstein, the Russian cutout animator. 
So yeah, check check him out if you're not familiar. Hedgehog in the fog. I recommend highly. Uh, we're still going. Cutscene editing. There are a lot of cutscenes, so fair enough. Producer and director Mike Woodruff. It's a family affair for the Woodruffs. Okay, here we go. Shooter. This is this is quite a long sequence. Today. Survive better than I thought it would have. Burshing things with the, the 2D pixel oh, as part of the, the graphics, that's quite cool. Commercial Center, Metro Prime, Metro Prime, location 34323.34243, free access for all companies. Thank you, citizen. Looks like you've got a little damage to your vehicle from here, citizen. I hit a probe on the way in. Piloting a damaged space vehicle is a violation of Directive 3433, citizen. Please report to a company enforcer on arrival. Thank you for your advice, citizen. This is most interesting. Company construction. Its course will take it precisely, precisely through this installation. Precisely through. It just came out of nowhere. What did? The probe I've been telling you about. I thought it was a meteor. I was flying through a meteor storm when I ran into this probe. Probes don't enter meteor storms. It wasn't one of ours. An alien probe? Could have been. If it wasn't one of ours, then... I mean, I didn't recognise it as one of ours. What were you doing in the middle of a meteor storm anyway? You know it's a violation of the Directive Charter. I was just having a little bit of fun. Try telling that to the enforcers. They're fascists. A lot of them. Fascists? It's a word I picked up from some Earth movies. It seems to fit the company ideally. Still obsessed with Earth, huh? Just researching my work? Yeah. 
I heard you won an award for those crap circle thingies. It's crop circles. I think my version sounds better. Next up, Ministry of Galactic Uncertainty, Crop Circle Division. That's me. Catch you later, man. Another Earth expression. You got it. Find out what happens at the Even crap circle division. Finally managed to arrive here. I shall see this goes on your record. What happened? Some sort of probe veered off course and rearranged the place a bit. Is there any damage? Is that a stupid question? I I've got to go. You've been ordered back to central control for a briefing. Do they know what happened? Not yet. But I wouldn't like to be the one responsible. They take a dim view of this sort of thing. Right. Okay. We're in the game. Um, I'm not really sure about the, the context of what's happening in the story. Uh, we seem to have been ordered back to a central place, but dumped on an asteroid space station. But never mind. Uh, let me go through the controls as I understand them for anybody who might well for anybody watching and anybody who might like to play the game too uh, confusingly this hand icon is actually walk you'll see it I don't know you probably won't see it animate yet but it does when it animates it, the fingers jiggle around as if they're um, legs and you so you uh, select anything by left clicking um, and you right click with the mouse to change your icon to a different symbol and I with the magnifying glasses uh, examine things um, hand dropping a coin is drop uh, hand fondling one ball is pick something up hand fondling two balls is combine items and that comes round to the uh, inventory which is up up here Greetings, citizen. So we have our uh, com uh, science, science fiction, futuristic computer watch uh, with its uh, its inbuilt computer called Oracle. Uh, interesting tidbit is that uh, the voice of Oracle um, is Peter Tudnam, an actor who was the voice of the computers uh, Zen and Orac in Blake Seven, which is a um, a favourite of mine. So that's that's kind of an added bonus here. Um, I'm going to just go through what these things have. I will say first that uh, disk is where you can save, load, and quit. Um, I will save now quickly. Ha, click on it first. Type something in. Uh, let's play one. Saved. Excellent. Um, so we'd have to go through the cutscenes again. That would be handy. Um, set is for settings. Um, so hitbox names. Uh, that refers to uh, the names of interactable items should appear when you hover over them. I don't think from testing it that it does in this particular version. Because I'm running the original um, CD for CD version through scum vm and that doesn't seem to work with a turned on or off oracle greeting message is we've just heard and uh, that happens every time you access your watch if you leave it on info button is well let's find out this feature is currently off to activate it use the settings button i think that might be the hint system to go inbuilt hint system to go with the game so we can turn it on if needs be um, off is just closes the, the screen um, and then stats tells us our stats where it will go through quite a few things actually we perhaps we should have a scroll when it gets to the end not terribly fast so that might be um, partly due to me running the game in a window as well that might be slowing things down oh we seem to have quite an extensive criminal record All from the last oh, oh, another feature. If Greetings, you, citizen. 
Hello, Oracle. Uh, if you is it going to always oh, going to type it all out again? This excellent. If you get the mouse too close to the edge of the screen, it will uh, just take you out of the watch screen entirely. So while this is loading, <laughs> again. I will try and keep an eye on where the mouse cursor is in the middle. Thank goodness. Right, let's have a quick scan of this. Feeble. Uh, his, so his name is Feeble1274869. He's Grenelian. He's male. Uh, SOB. Something of birth. 7104728. Build Dumpy. That seems uh, problematic to me. Uh, security rating is class D, which I assume is not very high. Expendability ninety four percent, which seems quite quite high. Uh, promotion prospects three percent. It seems quite low. Loyalty rating extremely trustworthy, but however, does have a criminal record for piloting a company spacecraft through an asteroid field on the last five minutes, damaging a company spacecraft by colliding with unknown object. In the last five minutes, parting a damaged company spacecraft in the last five minutes, failing to report damage to a company spacecraft and using Earthspeak. So everything he's done uh, within uh, the uh, the space of the cutscenes we've experienced constitute uh, his um, criminal record. So the encyclopedia is a very long list of other stuff that we can look up so we might do some of that as we go along especially if um, we're in need of pointers but I was I think we're gonna have to wait for it to run through its all its entire list of entries before we're able to exit it but this will give you a look at just how many things there are really um, lots of directives presumably as we Contravene more of the blimey. Seven thousand eight hundred ninety-three. As we contravene more of them, presumably we will uh, find out more about them. Right, let's get out of this watch screen. Let's go into this building. Step on it, feeble. What a mess. Um. We'll see, we'll see how it goes, but I, I think you might uh, detect a, a, a flatness of delivery uh, from Robert Llewellyn in his, uh, in his role as Feeble. Let's, uh, let's see how it pans out. I'd better engage the auto repair circuits. On the other hand, maybe I should just leave well alone. Okie dokie. Hmm. So we uh, let me hover over things, and you might see things animate. There we go. That means walking. So we can look at this. Should we look at this? See what happens. Message waiting. The red light means there's messages waiting. Jolly good. Can I then interact with? It that? was never meant to be moved. No. Okay. Can I pick it up? Pick it up. Obviously, that's how you Greetings, turn messages citizen. on. Greetings, You have. Three messages waiting. Three Any messages. from my mother? Say play if you wish to hear the messages. Otherwise, say bye. I really must have you updated, you know. I'm sorry, citizen, but I did not understand what you said. Say play if you wish to hear your messages. Otherwise, say bye. Play! Playing message one. It's just me, your mother. You remember me, don't you, dear? <laughs> I was just wondering when you're going to come and see me next. It's been such a long time, I can hardly remember what you look like. Two cycles ago. Call me back if you get the time. Bye. End of message one. Playing message two. Uh, Citizen Fable, I've uh, finished the repairs on your bike. Uh, new carb, new uh, retros, new fuel line. Not much I can do for your interplanetary drive, though. You just can't get a part. <laughs> I'll charge it to your account and drop it off later. Good cycle, Citizen. Good cycle to you, too. End of message two. Playing message three. 
It's only me again, your mother. I just thought I'd let you know I'm still around in case you find the time to drop by. My vid screen's playing up again, you see, and Next Door Citizens is on. Oh, sorry to be a burden, dear. Bye. End of final message. Oh, that's all I need to brighten up my cycle. Mechanics bills and guilt trips. <laughs> okay, well, I think that gives us a little bit more context. So this seems to be Feeble's... I don't know, I don't know if it's a living space, but definitely his workstation. And the other guy was just filling in? I'm not really sure. Well, that, that gives us some context. So that's, that's that information. Uh, we can interact with this here. Which at first I thought was just a very small human, but I think that's not the case when we go to it. Let's see, I think there's just the two things, just this thing. Let's examine it first. An extremely useful device when it's working properly. That's not very descriptive, but okay. Let's have a look at this thing here, that looks like a person. It's one of my favourite possessions. I picked this doll up on a visit to Earth recently. Oh, sort of a, a Ken type deal. Um, hang on, I've It's one of my favourite oh. possessions. I picked this doll up on a visit to Earth recently. Yes, yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to do that for you all. Um, pick up would seem to be appropriate. Aha, now I can show you. The inventory. Greetings, Highly... citizen. Oh, cool. Um, I might, I might. Bless him. Uh, I love Peter Tudnam, but I might. I might turn the, uh, the the message off for now. So uh, our inventory appears in this box here. It's one of my favourite possessions. I picked this doll up on a visit to Earth recently. You can get descriptions of what you have, um, scroll up and down, um, presumably when we have lots more in our inventory, um, and then that's also how we will combine items in a rather clunky inventory system. Um, let's try and operate this and see what happens. I'm not going in there. Have you seen the sort of mess a damaged teleporter can make of your molecules? Aha! I see. In back. Oh, hello. We can have a look at this as well. Let's have a look at this then. Oh, uh, what does it say of this? It's the professor's one? private drawer. Oh. Directive 742 states that delaying a superior is a violation of company policy. I really should be getting going. Ah, interesting. Can I. Taking things belonging to others is a directive violation. I know, this is an adventure game where you're supposed to take everything you can get your hands on. That's the professor's private drawer. It would be wrong for me to attempt uh, to gain access to it. All right, Feeble, you won't rummage through the professor's drawers. I, I, I get it. I get it. Um, right, combine. Let's do it. Combine. Question mark, meaning with what? Oh, he still says greeting citizen, but you don't hear the voice. Uh, well, fair enough. Um, I would like to combine it with this Ken doll, please. Because teleporting Ken dolls I can is, test it with this. It's the way to go. Oh, I wasn't wasn't expecting that. Uh, can we inter we can interact with Ken? Um, it's been enlarged. <laughs> that sometimes in a voice one is one of those. I'm. Uh, uh, I don't know if that's a deliberate joke. I like to think it is. Okay, we've got we've got um, the the jacket. Let's just have a quick look at that. I've always wanted one of these. Ah, okay. You wanted the jacket, uh, not a life size human doll. That clears things up a little. Um, what else can we pick up? The entire thing. Uh, did you say it's been enlarged? It's been enlarged. Okay. So that's uh, intriguing. Um, I think the only thing I can do now is walk out 
I think that's all I can do. So I'll do that, and then maybe something will be triggered. Oh, ah, because I read my messages, I got my bike back. This makes perfect sense. I think this is a good place to leave it for the end of this episode. Um, thank you for joining me at the beginning of our feeble adventure together. Um, and I will see you again shortly. Uh, take care. Bye-bye.